So I wanted to watch Wreck-It Ralph. I figured, I like video games, chances are I would love the movie. And I did. The movie is awesome. A little childish in parts, but that's okay. It's awesome seeing all these characters I knew so well from video games be represented on the big screen. But then it happened. Ralph, near the start of the movie, sees an old game character who actually becomes a secondary character in the film. Cubert. Wow, I thought. Cubert. I haven't seen him in years. I remember it had his game on the NES. And so I thought, wouldn't it be great to go back and play Cubert again for old time's sake? So, I did. I started up the game and began to remember things, like the floor panels that changed colors, the blob ball things that would hop down the stage, and that coily snake that would hunt you down without mercy, killing you instantly but from a single touch. I started to recognize all of them. Your enemies. Those that would see Cubert dead from his floor painting exposition. I then, as, as it is quite easy to do, died. Again, and again, and again. Then, a repressed memory came back to me. In an instance, I remembered Cubert, oh, but too well. Being as young as I was at first when I played it, I remember that I had all this trust and faith in game designers' abilities to create a just and honest digital world, but, but not Cubert. There is nothing but hatred in Cubert. I remember the foolish hours and days I wasted as a youth, thinking I could beat it. But there's no beating Cubert, is there? It's just a game that demands you check your sanity at the door. What ease of concept it introduces in the first level. Change the colors, it says. Do it without dying, it demands. And with the first stage completed, you have hope that you might go far with this game. But that hope is eradicated by an onslaught of enemies and challenges. Some might complain about the controls on the NES, but I don't. They're burned into my mind forever. I know Cubert's control scheme like no other, and it holds no anger for me. No, but the anger and resentment I do have is from the game. Green little freaks with sunglasses change back your hard work. Why do they exist? This game is hard enough, a a and why, when we get to the later stages, does it demand I step on a tile twice to change it? Was that to add difficulty and frustrate my young adolescent mind? But then what reason did you have to find it appropriate to change things up in level 3, by having me design a perfect path to change colors only once, for if you step again on that same tile that you had just stepped on, it reverts back to its original color. Does it get worse after that stage? I wouldn't know, because as a kid I was never able to get beyond that stage. Sure, others can, and I've seen it on YouTube. With ease, it seems they can sail through the levels. But not I, for the memories of Cubert torturing my childhood prevent me from ever moving forward. I am glad that they unplugged your f***ing machine.